what's up YouTube and salut and we're here with our eventual war with with uh, with strangely one of the baddest battles or most unpeated against battles ever so we have three great powers or four great powers against us against me and the two Sicilies and honestly the battle looks like we would lose, okay? Almost everything in this entire situation would say we'd lose. And honestly, I would believe it, but there's two reasons why I think we would win. And hold on, I should probably save it right now before something bad happens and before I like lose the save file. And you know what? Uh, you know what? Let's cancel this. Let's just save. Just in case, you know, like it crashes or, you know, maybe my progress gets reversed. Um, there we go. Okay, so, whew, what we have to do is, my first objective is, I hope I can mobilize fast. I've never, <laughs> yeah, that's my first objective. Right now, we're only at 0.2% mobilization. I'm hoping we can mobilize fast. Um, over here, um, I'm going to try to instantly in intergage the Belgium troops and take them out. Uh, my main goal is to take out Belgium as quickly as possible. That way we don't have to deal with them. Um, my other goal is see if I can actually call... Can I actually call an allies to these? Can I call an allies to crisis of war before great war... Before great wars are enabled. The Russian... Okay, I don't get that, but... So, I apparently can't call anyone in that is of that caliber. Well, that's kind of expected. So, opening moves are the most important, as I've learned... And so my first opening moves, I'm just going to try to uh, uh, try to distract him. I know UK is going to probably move some troops up in there. Um, Somalia is now, Somalia land, which should have been mine, is now opened up to target. Um, let's see. Uh, have any, nope. Okay, I'm pretty sure the UK is probably going to use this land and just march through and just take over that. Over here, we have a good sized army actually ready to go into battle already with lots of communists thanks thank you troops ready to go in i got some troops right here ready to fight and we got some troops over here protecting our little advantage points so um we're all good over here um so what my basic strategy is is that if i try to move in the first moves i will die and my main strategy is I'm going to try to first take out Belgium. That's my first main strategy. Okay. Which, with my advanced military compared to Belgium's, should not be like, should not be like anywhere near as hard as when I tried to like verse against Prussia, which wasn't even really a fight. Okay. Okay. And as I make more troops, um, it becomes more frequent that they are making their troops. I don't even think Belgium even has troops, but... As this war continues, um, who am I exactly versing against? So that we know exactly what we're up against. Okay, so we're just up against these four powers. We're not up against anything creepy or weird. Did Sweden join my side? Because that would be really awesome if I... No, I still can't. Dang, I really wish I could call my like other allies into this. This would be really awesome. Um, but anyways, um, we're at war with basically all of this and is it me against no okay yeah sweden i mean uh two sicilies did join my side so that's really good but it's basically all of us versus all of them and okay we can so far win this as long as i remain in a very defensive kind of style play we could probably win this um yeah okay so once i'm done okay i have to, uh, this is this is okay this is going to be an intense war also because of, um, okay, you know what, military tactics or better aim support. Military tactics, that actually helps us out a little bit better. Um, and 90% of my people are illiterate, just, just going to point that out right now. We have 90%. And, actually, uh, Somalia decided to gain out of the war, so we're not at war with Somalia anymore. That's actually kind of good. But, let me see how the war is going. Okay, quickly, go crush these guys, crush the army. Um, yeah, we have them moving up in here. I already knew that was going to happen. And how are the rest of my colonies going? And I'm just going to put it on, like, low, low movement because I don't want to, like, miss anything. Okay. Dang, you guys are not good at this. Okay, no, no, no. No, no, don't cross the river. Don't cross the river. And I'm, what I'm, what I'm most likely going to do over here is just wait until they're, like, destroyed or something and then just hit them. 
because if I attack right now, they would just completely win, okay? Russia doesn't seem to be sending any troops up into Morocco or Manchuko to try to take me on. The fear of Andante, the war is breaking out, the breakthrough in France. Yeah, we all need to know about this, okay? Um, nothing seems to be going on with the canals, so yeah, I'm just going to look at this canal. Yeah, nothing seems to be going on with the canals. Um, okay, instant, instant forgetfulness. Uh, completely did not see those troops moving into the fend. Okay. Um, it seems like, it seems like, though, they're still losing without, without even me, without even me really doing anything, which is good. But I just want to make sure about that, so I'm sending in some troops to, uh, you know, help facilitate, uh, gains. Over here in France, <laughs> oh my goodness, I think, I think just a bunch of my, my own, like, reserve men just spawned on top of the Belgians. Oh my goodness, Belgium must be feeling like... Oh, man, that must stink for Belgium. Okay, but that's not... Uh, we can't be thinking about that entirely right now. We have much more pressing business. You guys will now become a unit of soldiers. Move in, take over, kill the rest of the Bel Belgian army. That's what we need you guys to accomplish in that attack. Over here, how is the army going? Even though... Hmm. Okay, you guys stop. We're going to have to stop doing rebel attacks. Even though we are severely outnumbered, Okay, so battle report, even though we're severely outnumbered here, I think we're winning by just, oh yeah, we're starting to like crush them, man. I mean, they're losing numbers left and right while we're still like gaining a lot. And it's a good thing that I kind of have this front is the only one they can really attack on because if they could attack on any other front, we might be dead. And is this, please tell me this is not full mobilization. Oh, good. Good. And if you guys are wondering why I was kind of worried that why is why would it be so crucial that this is full mobilization? Because if this was full mobilization, oh my goodness, we do not have enough troops and we are going to die. But right now, we're starting to win, and it seems like our troops are starting to like feel a little bit hazed from like all the uh, advances. So we're just going to uh, help help the men realize their potential and start protecting them even more. Um, Belgium, like I said, is just getting demolished. I mean, right now, we could, I, I really feel like we could rack up a lot of war score if we just, like, conquer all of Belgium. And we just won the crucial battle with Colleen, and I don't think, yeah, we can't even advance, so I'm not even going to try to. So, going to reset the front, send the 39 divisions to go defeat these uh, Austrians right here, so that, because they don't look, they don't look well organized. Ah, dang. But it seems like they're crushing against me, and it seems like the full force of the Austrian might is starting to rain death upon me. But, as we can already see, I am holding steadfast in my honor. Well, not my honor. I'm holding steadfast in my army. And, dang. Okay, we're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna have to choose a good place to, like, defend. But, I think they already took over... No, they didn't take over my ports, but I think they took over most of my good cities. So, you know what? Um... Okay, if they ever make it... Oh, shoot! Okay, you guys retreat quickly. Because we have to deal with some Austrian invaders. Okay, over here, do we have anything of interest? Um, you know what? You guys can take my colonies. Seriously. I really, honestly, don't give... Don't really care about my colonies. Like, they are just that... Yeah. As you can see, the Great British seem to be beating us in almost all colonial fronts. I did not... It's not like I didn't see that one coming. Russia even even is invading Oman, um, French, Africa, eh, we're doing okay. Ah, oh, dang. Uh, hopefully my ships will be able to survive this, I didn't even know they were conquered. Um, and Russia still is not sending any troops over there in Korea, which is good because I don't actually have any troops in Korea. Okay, well, let's get back to over here. Um, Two Sicilies is giving a valiant fight against the, uh, against the, uh, what is it called? The, uh... What are the names? They're, the, they're not... Ah, this is gonna bug me. Um... Against the British! Oh, the British! Okay. We lost that battle. We lost that battle. I'm not even gonna go send my men in. That'd be really stupid. Um... We do have a good gigantic 60... 61 army right there. Waiting. So I'm gonna go send my elite army in. To try to, uh... Quell the well this uh uprising of sorts and did we win this battle yes we did and they're just going to retreat more into my land so i'm just going to chase them down 
And we have a SmackDown hit against with the Lava Army. I'm going to go send the rest of the grunts in to go help. Uh, yes, okay. Hopefully, with the combined forces of all these guys, they'll be able to crush them. Um, how is the battle going? Okay, I'm going to have to put down... I'm going to have to put down my map for a second. So I need to know... Okay, yeah, we're killing... Even though they're killing a lot of our men, we're killing more of them. Okay, over here, um, Belgium is just completely being destroyed. I mean, it seemed... Yeah, it does seem like Belgium is just going to die in this war. And... Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Belgium, but you guys chose the wrong side in this war. And I'm not going to be forgiving to you guys who just... You guys backstabbed me. And I'm, I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to say... Like, honestly, you guys backstabbed me. You guys should have joined my side. You guys were kind of like my friends, my allies, my cohorts. And you betrayed me to go to some other side that didn't even... He has... That side didn't even protect you for years. It wasn't the side that, like, instantly forgave you as friends. Uh, then again, it wasn't the side that, like, abandoned you for the British because of... Uh, because you were stupid and tried to get into war, but still, you know... I'm still not that guy. So, anyways, it seems like beginning stages of this war, I'm losing in almost all my colonial efforts. It seems like I'm just going to have to accept I'm going to lose my colonies in this. There is just nothing I can do. Like, almost everywhere in this world, I cannot defend against all my colonies. Especially with Austria, who has a cheat right here. Because they could just go back and forth between their vassal without having to, like, enter their land. Hey, wait a minute. No, wait, I can't break up nations yet. And neither will I want to. Okay, you guys, go inside here quickly. And... I think I have this place protected. Yeah, I have Brunei protected, just in case the British try to do anything over here. And Korea, still protected. And I'm surprised they have not conquered Johor. But, let's get back to our own colonies. And the instant annexation of Belgium is almost unanimously fulfilled. Um, we have some Prussians coming in through some of our weak flanks. I'm dealing... We're doing... So far, so far the Prussian... The Prussian push has not been one that we have not been able to withstand. So far, it's been pretty mediocre, in my opinion. And with my reserves now, like, hacking on to the border with the main infantry, I think now... I think this is probably my main army, right? Actually, was Whoa, we're still only 39% deployed. Dang, we still we have a lot of army. Okay, so that means we still have enough men to to successfully help us in this war. And it looks like uh, honestly, it looks like we are just defeating them in I mean, Belgium, like I said, I think we're mainly getting points from our Belginian conquest, which I am so glad is almost done. And yep, right here we have some engagements I'm going to go send my elite force to go help them. Because we want to, in the future, we kind of want to stop the uh, Russians from getting into our land up here. So, I'm going to start, like, sending troops over here to kind of block them. And how is my war score doing? Mm. <coughs> All right. To win, we're going to need that much war score, and we have 15%. That's actually pretty good. And I already added a new goal, which is acquire Sic Sicily. Sicily, really? Wow, did, did you guys just not see me just, like, destroying your army and, like, beating you in battles? I mean, you guys may be winning in, like, a lot of other areas, but... I'm still the top dog in this region, so... Yeah, please give me, give me the respect I deserve, because you guys aren't going to win this. By the way, is there a time limit I have to accomplish this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shoot. Okay, so everyone, it seems like there's also a time limit to where I have to, when I have to do this. And it seems like, yes, they seem to be pushing in quite heavily. Um, and now I'm going to push them out. Because this is honestly not going to be good for me. Ah, dang. I instantly got a bad bonus because I sent in the wrong troops. Lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. Um, I don't know. Where am I losing these battles? Wait, where am I losing these battles? The Valley of Tanga. That sounds like it's in Africa, which, again, as I've always said, I don't really care. Okay, yeah, that's. I guess I'm just going to have to take that stance. If there's any battles in Africa, I'm sorry, African colonies, but 
we're just gonna have to say you guys are on your own. Okay. And now I have a complete front separating us from the ally. I have most of my ports defended and I have most of Belgium conquered. I'm gonna go send these guys to go group up with them. So now we have France completely protected so that if they want to uh, move in, be my guest. But you guys aren't going to succeed because we have it all. Okay. And what we could actually start doing is is actually helping our colonial allies of Sardinia. Sardinia, I need some I need some of your military axis. Good job. Okay. Sending troops, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're kind of going to support the uh we're kind of going to support the uh, attacks over here and most of these guys are communists. That's great. That's just great for morale. Okay, I'm going to try to, like, support the, uh, the, what are they called? The Sicilian invasion into, uh, Tripoli. Because this is the only invasion I'll probably be able to mount. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be, like, trying to hold them off. And yes, you see my troops are coming in, like, heroic style. Yes. Okay, maybe not yet. There's the heroic style troops. And now we're starting to win this battle. And you're going to see some Russians... And how's the battle? Yeah, the battle score is really turning against them really quickly. Um, and I got all my forces prevented. I'm going to send you guys to group up. Yeah, you guys are good size army. You guys hunt down all the rebels around here. Mm. Okay, you guys. I'm actually going to go send you guys to go help. Oh, I can move through Sicily too? Okay, well you guys move through Sicily. Mm. And Belgium is about to be completely annexed. Oh man, I... <laughs> I actually wish I could annex Belgium right now because they are an annoying, annoying, annoying state, okay? And right now I can influence someone. Who can I influence? Machuca. Machuca. Okay, influence. Now you guys are friendly with me. That's good. That's good. Let's hope you guys don't turn against me and have the Russians come after me. Because that's actually my biggest fear. And how are we doing in Johor? Still no... I would have expected attack by now, but still no attack. Um, Africa... Uh, just being owned everywhere. Just, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, my colonies are just dead. <laughs> but wait, let me see my oil. Let me see my one oil. I didn't get to check out that. So, yeah, there's my one oil. And, and actually, wow, are we like the only... Dang. Everyone, newsflash, we are the only place in the world that produces oil. So, you know, that's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool, like... Saying that we're the only place in the world that produces oil. So, but that's just a side point. Um, we're getting back to the war effort. <sighs> and Belgium is now completely dead. Not much more the Belgians can do. So, I'm going to go start sending some of my armies to just kind of like intrusively attack uh, places. And I'm going to go send you guys right here to go make sure that we have a good strong border. Oh, man. Yeah. And these guys right here are going to be my Pruskin troops to make sure Pruskin remains underneath my control. And, yeah. Occup attackers, occupation, battles, okay. Like, I'm winning all the battles. It's mainly by blockades and the other stuff is... Oh my goodness, that's a big gigantic army. Okay. Split you guys up. Split. You guys move right here. Okay, I'm going to split you guys too. Split. You guys move right here. You guys are going to be my backup troops just in case if, you know, uh, the, the British try anything against me. Okay. So right now, we're just casually moving into the, uh, what is it called? Austrian land. I guess to put some hurt onto them. You know, because right now, we're basically, we're basically winning a lot of these wars and we really don't need to be, oh, shit. Whiz. Okay, I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, go send elite guard to go help protect land. Because elite guard, yeah, elite guard, elite guard arrived there and they instantly start killing like 20,000 of their men. Okay, and how many more men am I sending that I'm sending down there? Okay, this 78 stack is actually a pretty good stack. I'm gonna go send them down there. Um, you guys go kick out these Austrian invaders and then move on. Okay, you guys, move on to Venice. Actually, lazy native need to learn how to adapt. 
move on to Venice. And I just realized I can take control of the Sicilian troops. So that's what I'm going to do is war subsidize. Um, where is it? Command units while fighting a war to get a public overlord. Oh, only when you are fighting in a war to get. We are fighting in a war together. Unless they backed. Yeah, they did not back out. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like apparently my war effort is not doing good enough. And, okay, excellent. Tensions emancipate. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Because we're already having like a major war effort here. And right now we're crushing them. Austria doesn't even know what to do with our massive, like, militaristic might. We're just like, yeah. Okay, and we got Le Tomps. What does Le Tomps say about this war? I don't even care about that. French, yeah. Just a bunch of useless information. We just want to hear about the war right now. And, oh, we got instant hit over here in our, one of our province lands. I don't think they're going to win, though. They seem to be losing, yeah, heavy casualties. I'll go send these guys in too to make sure, but I don't think they're going to win. Over here we have our 48,000 troops. I'm going to go send my army to go over here to go help my troops because my troops are right now losing and now they're winning. Or losing, but they're winning enough to where I would be accepted if they lost. So, yeah. Okay, you guys just move through the battlefield. You guys move over here. Ugh. Intense. Uh, the beliefs must be respected. Uh, moral support is now even up, even better. Um, I've improved that. Let's get to steal armor battery. We want to make sure our military is the best because that's the only reason why we're living in this war. And yeah, they seem to be dying off pretty quickly over there, so we don't have to send much more army. Um, Venice is almost conquered. Uh, we're pretty much mopping up this region. Um, wait, wait. Don't you dare leave me! I need you guys! Okay, good. Good, you guys are coming back. Okay. I thought you guys were literally about to abandon me, because that would have been the most uncool thing ever. Because I do need you guys. I do need you guys' help. Because I have literally nothing. If you guys were gone, there'd be literally nothing else to protect us. So, anyways, we got that. Okay. Casually move into Suez. Um, I'm going to wait until... I'm going to wait until both of my armies are, are ready. 8.3 won a big victory, woohoo, um, right now moving in, uh, you guys move into right here, we're just gonna keep moving, that's all we're gonna do, is that when there's an opportunity, we're just gonna keep attacking, there is no slowdown with this army, and I should not have done that, that was a stupid move, and the, what are they called, army, okay, you guys, Split up, become two. You guys go send an army over here, and then you guys go send an army right over here. We need to make sure we get some more army men, because right now we're losing just a tiny bit of army men. Okay, I'm going to go send my soldiers to go take out these guys. Mm-hmm, excellent, dissipate. And we actually might lose our first battle right here. How sad. But, you know... Considering we've been like crushing towards the land. I mean, they're still not even winning. So, anyways, quick update on the uh, uh, colony front. Oh my goodness, we are dead. Um, colony front, colony front. Um, colony front, colony front, colony front. We lost our first battle. Yes, it was official. And there's that invasion I was expecting. This was what I was expecting for a while. Okay. So let's go stop them right now. I think our army is actually better than the British. Just barely. Le Tomps. Uh, victory, victory. Okay. And how are we doing? It's, oh man, we're almost there. We just need to push just a little bit harder. We just need to push a little bit harder into the land. And we should have it. Okay, we got our troops back in position. Um, we're starting to gain a handle on the situation right now. Because as you... Because they kind of they kind of did a cheeky thing and moved in back of us, but... Were we gaining control? I mean, J Java, the Krakatoa explodes, everyone. The Krakatoa event just happened. Okay, we just gained a part of that. Move over here. We're moving straight into Vena. So if we can get Vena, we basically win this game. We win this uh, election. Okay, and we have our troops moving back here. Okay, yeah, you guys move back into friendly territory if you guys have to. Okay, fight the means by any disease. I'm... I said this is not good. Oh shoot. 
This is not good. I already know this is not good. Okay, I just heard you guys. Okay, and what'd you guys do to my economy? Oh, shoot. No. 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 And no. Okay. How about yes? Yes. Yes. But no. No. Really? I can't gain that much? Shoot, I'm like, this is going to drain my economics. Okay, so my troops are going to become really, really bad in a couple minutes. But it's almost, ah, uh, I just need to, I just need to be bankrupt for a little bit longer. Oh, and funny thing about bankruptcy, I think the UK is actually funding me in bankruptcy. Okay, let's see. Uh, Prussia, USA, Switzerland, no, seems like they decided to, uh, neglect to give me loans for this war. Whatevs, I can deal with that. Okay, but we are, we are rapidly crushing, ah, dang it, the Russians! The Russians are coming towards us. Okay, we treat. No, we're just... Ah, shoot. Never mind. We're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna so... Hate myself when this happens, but we just can't... We just cannot deal with our army being destroyed. And it's... Oh my goodness, we're destroying the Russians! The Russians don't even have a chance right now! Oh my goodness, the Russians are like dying really quickly. That's really quite funny. Okay, and our army still, even though I'm basically bankrupting our country, we're still winning. Okay, you guys delete any units that are not filled. I do not want anyone that is not in this, that does not have full units supported. Okay, try to crush through these armies. Uh, okay, where the heck is the... Okay, seems like the Austrians finally gained some foothold onto us. Um, did they finally... No, they really don't have anything over here, so... That's really sad. That's really quite sad. So I'll send... So, yeah, they're basically... They're now on the def complete defensive, so I'm just gonna go send my... You know what? To it, I'm just gonna let them die. Because you know what? They should learn from their lessons. And learn that I'm not a peaceful negotiator when it comes to tactics. And... Excellent. Excellent. Come on. Win the Battle of Venice. Ah, oh, dang. We lost our first battle. Um, peace. Austria. Oh! Ha! 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 Oh! 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 Yes! Ha! We did it, everyone! Salut! Salut! Wait. We! 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 Yeah! Oh, yes! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Wow! 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 Oh! Oh, this is... This is a this is a great honor. I'm so so very happy that we could do this. Um, did we even fully mobilize? Yes, we did fully mobilize. So this was our demobilized now. Um, this was our full amount of army, and this was oh, this was a major event for us. We have officially freed the Polish people and gained them into our sphere. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, um, I'm James, this is, this is Shredder James, hope you guys love this, hope you guys loved every minute of this, and I hope you guys had the faith in me to know that I would win this, and I hope you guys will know, I will see you guys next time, goodbye everyone!